This is Greg Troutwein with Maritime Reporter TV. We're here in New Orleans at the International Workboat Show, and we're very pleased to be joined by Cheval Sapri of Rolls-Royce. And Cheval, first and foremost, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for uh, having me here. So uh, uh, I'm the general manager for Waterjet Sales here in Americas, and uh, it's good to be having this conversation. Awesome. So Cheval, um, can you just give us a little background uh, of yourself with in the maritime industry in general, but also specifically with Rolls-Royce? Uh, I've been with uh, Rolls-Royce for the last uh, nine years now. I uh, started with them in the UK, then was in Norway for six years, and now I'm based out of Houston since last year. Um, and I was in the Merchant Marine before uh, I joined Rolls-Royce, so uh, five years in Merchant Marine. So I've got some operational background as well. And uh, I've been doing water jets now for a year and a half with them, mm -hmm. but uh, been with them in different roles so far. Well, I can certainly say that the Rolls Royce name is one that's well known globally. Um, but I, but I, at this event, uh, I know specifically you are introducing a new water jet, uh, mm -hmm. the A5. The company has long experience in water jets. Uh, what is unique about the A5? So the A5 is the all-new axial flow aluminum water jet. So what this is, is we've gone and completely redesigned the axial flow aluminum water jet that we had in our series of whole water jets. Mm -hmm. uh, what the A5 water jet is going to do is completely change the efficiencies that you get out of axial flow water jets. Mm -hmm. uh, water jets are usually used on fast graphs, uh, you know, 25 to 40 knots mm -hmm. and plus knots as well. Uh, but what the A5 is going to do is it's going to standardize our, you know, aluminum water jet series uh, that we have. And um, there are certain benefits mm -hmm. that we want to kind of uh, present. We've listened to the customer requirements and uh, introduced all of those features into the A5 water jet. The A5 stands for aluminum mm -hmm. and 5 is basically the fifth generation or type 5 pump that's um, been introduced in this water jet. And that's that's really the heart of the water jet, the impeller, the pump, which is completely redesigned. Okay. So what is the power range of the new A5? So the water jet that we've just launched, that's from around 150 to 550 horsepower. Mm -hmm. But eventually that will be introduced in several different sizes over the next year and two. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, that's um, water jets are obviously well known well proven in the workboat sector but just uh, as an overview uh, where what types of applications uh, will you traditionally see a water jet solution best suited so uh, when we when we're talking about the aluminum water jets especially in these sizes we're talking about uh, patrol boats uh, you know police and fire boats you've got pilot boats uh, crew transfer boats in some instances Water taxis, you know, which are doing short, uh, quick, you know, uh, distances. As you live in the water jet sector and the workboat sector, um, how would you describe the acceptance of water jets as a propulsion solution? That's a very good question because um, you have customers and operators who are very familiar with water jets. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it all drives from the applications, the platforms that they're using on. So we have a mix of customers who are very familiar with water jets and, um, you know, happy to continually use that. And then we have customers where, you know, you can have um, traditional conventional propulsion system users and there can be some resistance to go to the water jet side. But um, it's important to drive out the differences between the applications. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't want to propose a water jet solution to an application where maybe a regular conventional uh, propulsion system makes sense. So it's all about having those conversations and understanding, um, you know, the customer requirements, what kind of boat is it going to be, uh, what kind of operation is it going to be. So uh, I would say the, you know, market acceptance of water jets in general is uh, quite high because we've been doing this for a lot of years. We've delivered 10,000 water jet units, uh, you know, worldwide. So that's a big number there. So obviously the A5 is a new product line. Uh, I'm sure there are some key technical features that you'd like to discuss uh, as they apply to the customers that you're going to be selling it to. Yeah, absolutely. So the A5 water jet is going to be the lightest in its class. So it's the lightest water jet um, when it comes to axial aluminum water jet, uh, you know, types. 
Um, one of the key features of the A5 is we've reduced the kind of inboard footprint mm -hmm. because these these water jets are going to go on smaller crafts mm -hmm. where you know space is at a premium. Mm -hmm. So we've listened to customers who have asked us to kind of do something about the inboard footprint. Okay. So the inlet tunnel of the water jet has been uh, shortened in a way and you've got more space to play around with at the back of the boat. The other key feature is that um, the way we've designed the inlet, the new impeller, the guide vane chamber, mm -hmm. and the reversing and steering unit, all of that together drives up um, the efficiencies. So overall, you know, the propulsive efficiency is increased by 3%. You've got an increase in the steering efficiency as well by around eight percent, and the bullet pull efficiency is um, you know increased by thirteen percent. So that's a significant number, and um, it's become easier to maintain and install, uh, where we've reduced the number of interfaces in the water jet, so less time to overall. Um, the steering and reversing um, uh, mechanism has been adopted from the stainless steel version of uh, water jets that we have, which are you know highly optimized. So we've driven from our other side of the water jet family and um, gotten an into this product. And what that means is that uh, you've got um, lesser forces on the cylinder units, mm -hmm. and uh, that means lesser hydraulic pressure. Mm -hmm. So it's less wear and tear. Okay. So in general, it's just become more, more easier to operate, install, and you get a better performance out of it. Um, on an average, I would say that the A5 water jets would usually go a size lower than what the existing water jet, you know, sizes would, you know, go in meeting performance requirements. Haven't done this for many years. I know if you tell if you can save a, a vessel owner weight and space, you're two steps ahead of the game. Yep. All right. Again, Cheval, thank you very much. Thank you. This is Greg Troutline with Maritime Reporter TV.